Well, good morning, boys and girls. Good to see you this morning. Uh, I'm going to get you to do a job for me. Uh, we're going to use our imaginations this morning. So I want you to shut your eyes. I want you to imagine that you're on a city on a hill. The city's name's Jerusalem. You've been stuck in Jerusalem for weeks and weeks and weeks. You can't get out of the city. Garbage doesn't go out of the city. No food comes into the city. The city is really starting to stink like Mr. Gabbett's running shoes. And as you go up on the city wall one day, you look out at all the countryside around you and there are tents everywhere. And there are soldiers and there's smoke and there's horses and there's an army. You go right around the city walls, wherever you look, as far as you can see, there is the fiercest, nastiest, most violent army in the whole world. And the Bible describes them as a pack of wolves. And you can't go into your city. You can't get new food in. You can't send anything out of the city. They're just around your city. Hands up if you think you might be a little scared of what will happen. I'd be petrified. Hands up if you might fear that you'll never get out of the city ever again in your life. Uh, Hands up that you might hope that that horrible bunch of wolves might go away one day. In that city, you've got lots of hopes and fears. There's a bloke who lived in that city. We've just heard some of his writings from Mr. Stiller, a bloke called Micah. We don't know how old Micah is. We know he lived in Jerusalem. We know he was there with all of those wolves around with that army. And he had lots of hopes and fears. And he would cry out to God every day. And God actually gave him a job. God said, your job is to speak to my mob for their hopes and fears. And you know what? God gave him three things. He said, you know that town down the road called Bethlehem? Number one. In that town, one day a woman will give birth to a son. Number two. And that boy is going to save the world. I reckon Micah would go up to the city walls every day just to look out towards Bethlehem. And I reckon every day he'd hope that God would do that. But you know what? He had to wait and wait and wait. And then Micah died. And then they waited for another 700 years. That's a long time to wait. How many days till Christmas, Elsa? Can you remember? How many? 25 days to Christmas. Now, do the, do the maths or Mr. Cap will do them for you later. That is a lot of waiting. 700 years. And then, do you know, one day in Bethlehem, a woman gave birth to a son and he ended up saving the world. Do you know what his name was? What was his name? Jesus. Good on you, Lord. So, Jesus. You know what? God heard his people. God promised to his people. Did God keep his promise? Did he keep it in Micah's day? Oh, it took a while. How many years again? Can you remember? 700 years. But did God keep his promise? Did Jesus end up saving the world? Yeah, he did. So today, as we spend time thinking about that, as we think about a Christmas carol, here's a question you've got to ask mum and dad at home. Mum and dad, how did that little boy answer my hopes and fears? So I want you to ask mum and dad that later on. Let me pray. And then we're going to grab our sheets. Dear God, thank you that you listen to Micah. Thank you that you know our hopes and fears. Thank you that you make promises and keep them in Jesus. Amen.